right next story, Molly Fister. Yeah. William. stuff, you know, as, as me and Levi was kind of doing our own thing, and so kind of explain um, how it was, you know, growing up in a Christian home, but still having your hardships and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, like Billy was saying, I grew up in a Christian home. My mom and dad uh, ran an outreach ministry, and um, I kind of got involved in the wrong crowd, and I, uh, I wanted to find myself. I wanted to fit in, though. It was a big issue. I just wanted to fit in. So I started doing what everybody else was doing and um, partying on the weekends and I started drinking a lot and that kind of took off. Um, I went to, I ran away all the time when I was a kid. I was always missing and uh, just spent on our um, <laughs> um me and Nikki would run away, and um, because, you know, I was, I dealt with an eating disorder when I was a kid, and uh, I cut myself a lot, and my parents wanted to send me away, and I didn't want to go, so I ran, um, and that kind of started this whole um, empty feeling inside that I had, and I just resorted to anything that I could get my hands on to feel okay. Um, the cutting, the eating disorder, the drinking, the pills, um, the men, like it, it was it was bad. And um, I got expelled from school um, a couple times. And uh, <laughs> um, they wouldn't, no school wanted to take me, so I just kinda did my own thing. I left home, um, and then, you know, they took me back, um, got kicked out, didn't have anywhere to go. Wanted to get back on my feet, um, and then I was living with a friend, and that was a drug house, and it wasn't good. And, um, yeah, I just, uh, started drinking a lot, and I was, uh, very unhappy person. Yeah, yeah. And so a lot of crazy stuff. Um, man, it, it, and I think it was, it was so cool um, to see what happened with you and, and what Jesus did because um, we, we were constantly dealing. Uh, I'm just going to keep it real. Like we were constantly dealing with Levi. You know, and, and his struggles. Um, you know, and, and I had, Jesus had saved me, you know, and so um, I, I was following Jesus, and, and uh, you know, we were so, we were worried about Levi. He was, you know, being reckless, and, and he went into the house and all this stuff, and, and um, you know, I always knew that Molly wasn't doing the best, but like, I just didn't think Jesus 
um, would snatch her up like he did. Um, and it was crazy when it all went down. It was so surreal. I, I was just, I don't know. Like to me, I'm, I'm trying to view it from my perspective. Like it was like the snap of a finger almost like it, it, one day, uh, I forget how it happened, you know, because you had started getting more involved and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, she's, yeah, she's, she's, you know, she's Lou's daughter. She's going to the women's group, this and that, you know, but I didn't really think uh, nothing of it. And then, like, I saw, like, tangibly, like, this crazy transformation. And I was just like, it was one of those things where I've known Molly my whole entire life, and I looked at her, and I was like, who is this? And, like, even though that's happened with me and a bunch of people uh, that I know, when I saw it with her, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, how awesome our God is. Like, all glory and praise to him. And so explain to us. Um, yeah, going to the women's group, and, and is that what started it? And explain just uh, your journey to surrendering your life and what happened after that. So, um, yeah, it was a women's meeting on a Saturday morning, and I was in a really toxic relationship, and um, I wanted to get my life right, but I knew I couldn't with him living in my house. So, um, reached out to Ken and had him uh, remove this person from my house and ever since it was it took a couple times yeah Ken it wasn't new to him um or anybody else nobody thought I was gonna give that up but I did and it was probably the best thing that I did yeah and that we had done that multiple times like I remember Molly would call and I'm like this is the fourth time I've been here in two weeks <laughs> and it was getting routine for the other guy the other guy me and Kevin would walk in and be like I got him the bags packed already <laughs> it, it was so routine and that's where I was really worried for Molly I was like man when, it, when is when is it going to change and so then what happened um Started hanging out with all of you crazy guys. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was, um, you know, one step at a time, and I went through the way, and I started going to all the meetings and all the groups, and I actually listened to what you guys had to say, and I wanted what you wanted, and um, Jesus is slowly working in me, and uh, it's noticeable. Absolutely. Yes. A, a whole new life. A whole new life. A a anyone, anyone here who knew Molly can attest that she is 100% a completely different person. She has been reborn, and 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 her everything, everything has changed, you know. And and now her and 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 he snatched, you know, her friends up too. Nikki surrendered her life to Jesus, and now they they both belong to Jesus. When they were out running the streets, sleeping under bridges, I was literally just telling Megan, I was like, her and Nikki ran away and slept under a bridge for like a month, you know. Like I remember that when we was kids. And um, completely different, you know, and, and and that's what happens when you surrender your life to Jesus and you give Him 100% access to your heart. You know, He gives you this new life, and and now you know she's making such a big impact in other women's lives, and that's what is awesome to see. You know, someone yeah. who is dead in their sin and, and is now alive in Christ, and and, and Jesus is using them to, you know, bring others to himself, like all <coughs> praise and glory to him. Yeah. All right. So uh, here in a couple minutes, we'll do the drawing. A couple more minutes to get tickets if you need them uh, or anything like that. Yeah, I think maybe we'll just have a story.
like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing it with my eyes. <laughs> 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 